Hiya, welcome back to the channel. Look at this. How excited am I? It's a, a brand new Galaxy Supernova FX. I'm dying to get the wrapping off and show you it, but before we do that, let's have a little bit of admin. I'm not sponsored by Galaxy Kayaks or anybody else for that matter. I haven't received any payment or indeed any payment in kind to make this video. Uh, my opinions and my opinions only and all of that information is correct at this moment in time. Right, so let's get back to it. I've got this on loan from Galaxy Kayaks UK and as I said, I'm going to do an unboxing today. We're going to set it up. Uh, we'll have a little walk around it and I'll give you my first impressions. And then in a future video, we'll get it out on the water and see if we can catch some fish. But for now, I'm just going to grab my Stanley knife and get on with the exciting bit. Well, we might as well start at the front, eh? Wow. Uh, I'm noticing straight away that on the camera, it looks quite light, this orange, but it's not. It's really quite a dark sort of burnt orange almost, and it's absolutely beautiful against this black. So at the very front here, we've got this massive hatch. Uh, with a couple of catches on it there inside of here loads of space we've got the scupper plug which i'm going to assume yes that's the transducer compartment underneath there don't know how much of that you can see with a gopro moving down the kayak we've got this kind of a blank i think which goes in where the the pedal drive would fit or the uh, motor if you get that then we've got a paddle in there we've got all these lovely rails on the side these uh, pieces of wood there keeping the seat in place then at the back here, we've got this, which I think is the battery box. Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. So we've got some brown cord, uh, black rope, sorry. We've got, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a great big bag of real blazer goodies. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited to open that. Um, we've also got some shock cord in there. Uh, we've got some uh, high-vis cord, safety rope. We've got, uh, this will be part of the rudder. Some bits and bobs labeled kayak hull spare parts. Some knobs, and I know what these are. These come off the seat because I've already fitted these onto my Galaxy Sturgeon FX. So if you're wondering what these are, these are for your seat. We'll get around to that in a little bit. So you've got the handles here in this bag. Then you've got this disc for the rudder, I assume. Yes, it is. And now look, uh, steel cables. So that's a bit of an upgrade from the Sturgeon already. And then this motor mount. This is for a torpedo. You can put a Propel motor on it, which Galaxy sells separately, which goes in here. But we'll have a look at that later on. For now, we'll get these bits of wood off and uh, we'll start setting it up. So we'll start by taking these uh, pieces of wood off. Looks like a posy number two to me, and it is. So we'll get these off and the seat is underneath. Wedged in. There we go, that's out. One. And two, this one's not quite so tight. What is when you get to the top? Gosh, how did they get that in there in the first place? It's out. I would save these screws, I'd have just come out the wood if I was you, because I'm going to bank on these being the same stainless steel uh, screws, the marine grade ones that they use around the rest of the kayak. I can't see why they wouldn't, so just hang on to those. So, we've got the seat here. It's uh, a different seat than the Galaxy Sturgeon. It's not adjustable height-wise, but uh, we'll put that to one side for now and we'll fit that later on. Ah, right, this is important. When you're unwrapping your kayak, be dead careful because these little brass inserts can fall out because the kayak's made so that you can get them in and out here, which I think is a good design. And obviously they're not gonna fall out once you've attached some real blazer stuff to them. But just be careful because I found one inside of the kayak and two on the grass after I unwrapped it. So make sure you have a look for them, check them all. So there should be two in each of these side rails. There should be one each in these front rails and one each in these little rails, which are for adjusting the seat there. And I think there should be two each in the rails at the back. I can't get this one in. Two each in the seats, in the rails at the back there as well. So there you are. So yeah, I've got them all. So just be careful of that. So here's your standard Galaxy paddle. Uh, it feels a little bit lighter, this one, actually. Anyway, I've got lots of paddles, so I probably won't use this. I've got a carbon fiber one that I'll use, but there you go. Free paddle for you. And then on here, this, obviously, when you don't have the pedal drive in, when you're just using it as a paddle kayak, that sits in there. Right, let's have a look at the boxes that came with it. We'll have a look at the pedal drive, and I've got a surprise for you as well. 
So let's start off with this one. It's going to be the, the pedal drive, I can tell you that before we open it. Well, look at that. So, yeah, lots of bits and bobs in here. Pedal system, spare parts, that one is marked as. We've got, I'll tell you what, I'll just take the main bit out for now and you can have a look at that. It doesn't look too complicated. I think I'll be able to put this together, no problem. It feels solid, I'll tell you that. Um, wow, look at it. I'll be interested to see how the propeller compares to the flipper system, because that's what I'm used to. Anyway, so that's that. I'll try not to lose anything. So we've got the uh, little bits and bobs in there. There's some washers and springs and all that sort of stuff. I will work that out for you. It's, it's marked pedal, other pedal, and up pedal. Not quite sure, but we'll have a look at that as well in a moment. In here, this bag isn't marked, but it looks quite self-explanatory. I think this will attach to the pedal drive, and that'll be what enables you to lift it in and out. And in this bag, ah, instructions. Good. That'll be helpful. Right, well, we'll break those instructions out. I'll probably ignore them and then go back to them in about five minutes, but some instructions in there for the pedal drive. That's really useful. So we'll put that together in a minute, but we'll do that over there. So I suppose the first thing we should do is have a look at the instructions. I can't imagine it being that complicated. Where do the springs go? I think they're spare parts, all the little bits and bobs of springs, you know. So the first thing you do is just literally attach the pedals to it. That's what it says. Right, so here are the pedals. I think there's a left and a right one. There's also two attachments, two screws in there. So be careful you don't lose those. So this is the right pedal. So this is gonna go on here. So there's gonna be a little gap there. I'm assuming that's normal because there's nothing else to go in there. And I can't see anything in the instructions that would fit in there. So that's pedal one done. I'll turn it over and we'll put the other pedal on. It actually looks quite a bit simpler than I thought. There we go. I think that's it, isn't it? It's easy enough to line up. It's not difficult. I'm not going to over tighten it. I'll get it tight and then give it another quarter of a turn. There we go. Right, so I'm going to put this to one. No, I'm not actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other, the bracket, which is the next bit to go on. So that is down here in this packet, and that's what it looks like there. So we'll, uh, it's got a lot of screws with it, this one. So what do I need to find now? I need to find the long nut. No, it's not in there. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the job. You'll probably spend a little bit of time looking for this because it's in the instructions, but it's actually already in situ on here. Do you know what? I might actually do this on the kayak. Bear with us. We'll turn the camera around and I'll see you over the other side. So, we'll take this out for now. And in its place, we'll pop that. There we are. Ah, so that's what those screws are for. They are, they are to attach this. So we'll do that first before we put the rest of the bits in the pedal. So that would go through there. This will go through here. It will. There we are. It's in. So that's that pin, by the way. The one that we discovered by accident. So that's in there. So I feel like I can rest that safely on there now. Yes, I can. There we go. And so you recognize these off old kayak trolleys. This is what holds that pin in. Well, that was really simple, wasn't it? It looked a lot more complicated than it was going to be. But what I'll do is now I know it's in the position where we can get it in or out. I'll tighten everything up. So as I say, when you first open the box and you find the pedal drive, you're going to think, oh my God, this is horrendous. All these spare parts and all these springs and all these things, where am I going to put them? You actually don't need to use them. These are actually spare parts so you can do repairs if you need to. There you go. Well, that's good. So that was really simple. So what you'll do first is attach the two pedals and then of course you'll put, uh, well, actually, maybe be better off putting the bracket on here first, then attaching the pedals once you've popped this pedal drive in. So that's really good. So I missed two screws out. These ones are quite easy to miss. So these go in at the back here. 
of the bracket that holds the pedal drive in. There you go. It would be nice if it was weighted so that would stay there, but I'm going to assume that you would put the blank under here anyway if you're going to sit with the pedal drive out of the water. Right. So this will sit in there like that. There you go. Look at it, man. Brilliant. So that sits in there as you're going along. You've got yourself a nice little tray there. And then when you want to bring the pedal drive in, that comes off. The clips get undone. Up this comes. That goes back in there. It's quite self-explanatory, really, once you have a look. There you go. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So something else to point out. We're nearly done with this, though. Something else to point out. Obviously, as feedback, there used to be a big screw knob that would go on the end of here. Obviously, people were losing that because it's still on the picture for the instructions, but instead, what you get is that pin. Right, so we'll do the seat next. If you remember before, I said that I, I recognised some of the seat parts in the battery box from when I fitted the seat on my Sturgeon FX. So if I have a little dig around in here, there we'll go. They're definitely off the seat. And uh, I'm going to assume these are as well, because I think that they're going to go in these holes here and through into these brass inserts. So when you've set your seat, you can lock it into position. I'll put you back on the tripod and then we'll get the seat and we'll stick it in. Right, so let's get this seat in. Something I've noticed, when you're putting the seat in and out, if you put it on an angle and then turn it in, it goes in and out much easier. If you try and lift it straight up and down, it doesn't quite work. So these uh, plastic bits go on the end of the legs at the front of the seat here. I'm going to assume you have to take these stoppers out, otherwise they won't go on. Yeah, you must have to, because they must use this seat on other kayaks, so bear with us while I get those out. It's one. And that is two so these slot on so it's the side with the smaller hole in that slots on there it's quite a tight fit isn't it let's see if i can get that in give it a shove bloody hell be strong to do this one right um just double checking that that is correct yeah definitely because it's got to go in this front bit and slide backwards and forwards so bear with us Got a rubber mallet in the shed if I need it. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go and get a rubber mallet and we're gonna pop them on with that. So what I've done is I've popped a little bit of wood out of the packing underneath so that you don't damage the seat while you're doing it. There you go, so that's on. And I think it's probably gonna need a little bit of adjustment. We'll try it in the kayak anyway first. Let's see how we do. Hello. There we go. So as I said, these will then go through there and into the brass inserts once you've got your seat in position. So I'll just show you that for now. So that's one, nearly one. Are we in? Yeah, we're in there. And here we have number two. I'm going to probably lose these, so I might have a little look at them. If this was my kayak, if I didn't have to take it back, I would make a little modification to that to make it so that I personally wouldn't lose it because I'm, I'm very good at losing stuff. So there you are. That's that in position, sliding backwards and forwards. Right, so I've been putting this bit off the rudder because uh, last time I put a rudder on, it was probably the most difficult part. But having said that, this looks quite simple. Let's have a go. In fact, I think this might be so simple you could take it off and on for putting the kayak on the roof. Ah. Oh, well, this is good news. If this is as easy as it looks, then we're on a winner. So, in the battery box, you'll find the rudder and you'll find this screw. And I think it just slots up from the bottom. And then maybe you use these little screws on the top of here to make adjustments to the to the steel cables, that must be it, right? Well, bear with us. Have to stick this in from underneath. I'll do what we call a cutaway. So you can have a little look at that and you can see what I'm actually doing. I won't actually stick it in now because this is just so you know where it is. So if I was editing this properly, I would cut away now to this. 
so then we'll cut away back to this shot you see it's magic isn't it i'll just uh oh no i've got the rudder in my hand so you know that uh, i've cheated anyway that goes up through there this goes in yeah this couldn't be any easier I'm, I'm really pleased that this is this simple ah right so it fits into there as well so there's like a a star fitting star shaped fitting on the rudder and uh it's got markings on it i'll show you that in a second so you can definitely get it in the right spot it's a little bit of a tight fit but it's just me working it out there you go that's in there um, and that is that in the center yeah there you are well that was it oh no i've pushed it back out what an idiot no it's back in right so i'll just i'll put this screw in and I'll, I'll give you a little close-up of it and you can see the markings on the rudder so you know how easy this is it's got these markers on so that you know when it's in the center and it's got like a star fitting underneath so the rudder can only fit in like in certain increments so you're definitely going to get it straight if you have a look at it there it's definitely straight isn't it right so we've still got the handles left to do but that's not it because if you remember earlier on i said i had a little something special to show you well it's not that little it's something that quite excites me about this kayak but first of all we'll stick the handles on it's fairly self-explanatory i don't need to show you both of them you'll find the handles in the back there attached to the bungee by a zip tie in a plastic bag two screws it's an allen key head and that's it the jobs are good so here it is you've probably guessed what it is already it is of course the propel 54 motor which i wasn't expecting them to send to be honest with you and i'm not going to lie i don't have a battery for it so i'm going to have to steal the one out of my camper van before i can get it onto the water and give it a try out but i'm still going to unwrap it and i'm going to show you what's in the box just in case you've ordered one so you know what to expect so you've got these two blanks which are going to go around the motor once it's fitted in you've got two propellers some cable work some straps here i think will be for taking it in and out or securing it to the kayak so you don't lose it a little spanner with a few nuts and bolts in and a tiny little pin i don't know what that is but anyway i'll get it out the wrap and we'll have a look at it right so the only thing you're going to have to do really when you get the motor is stick the propeller on now the one thing that'll catch you out if you've never put a propeller on before like me and it just took us a little moment there to figure it out is this tiny little pin i don't know if the gopro can see that properly because this needs to go through a little hole at the bottom of the spindle there on the motor and once that's in place if you look at the propeller there it also has a little groove in it as i say gopros are not very good at close-ups but when you've got one in your hand you'll be able to see it so we'll stick that little pin in very carefully because you only get one so you don't want to be losing it whoop then we'll get the propeller we'll pop that on and that sits in the groove and that's now engaged with the motor i hope you can see that because i'm doing it at a kind of an odd angle and then when you've done that in this little bag here it's got a little spanner which you're not going to be able to fit in there so i don't know how you're going to do it but it's got a washer a lock nut and a spring washer and they both have to go on this side because there's no way they can go on the other side and on top of that you're going to put your lock nut and you tighten that up and you've got your propeller on i mean i suppose you could kind of get that in there but i'm just going to get one out my socket set and finish it off and would you believe it's just started to rain it's been in and out the sunshine all day and it's been threatening to rain but so far we've got away with it but i'm going to just uh get this on here and then we're done and we'll have a quick walk around the kayak oh no we're not done you know why because we're still having a look in that real blazer goodie bag have we that's going to be exciting so we're hiding out of the rain here under the umbrella to finish off putting the propeller on uh, i've got a socket it is a size 13 mil and you can just get that in there and finish that off because as i say you're not getting that spanner in like and also in the box you get this little bung and that i'm assuming goes over there right let's pop this in the kayak well the rain stopped and the sun's come out with us some very dark clouds over there so let's get this done fairly quickly we're going to put the motor in obviously in order to do that we're going to have to take out the pedal drive it seems like a bit of a faff on but to be honest you're either going to have the motor in or the pedals it's not something you're going to be chopping and changing between is it i mean you certainly wouldn't be doing this out at sea i'm kind of making this bit up as we go along so i'm assuming well in fact i'm going to say i know 
because it's the only way it could possibly work the, the motor has to go in here it has to go in this assembly so I put them like that and now right so these are gonna have to go on either side of the motor before it goes in so let's have a look so obviously we're gonna to have to have the propeller at the back oh here comes the rain we'll have to be quick I'm gonna to have to the, have the propeller at the back that's gonna go on there like that okay I wonder if there's an easier way to do this that I'm just not quite getting maybe if I hold it by the handle and we'll get this through there to start off with we could maybe do it like this this is probably it isn't it I'm gonna say I'm close with that put this on that side and this wire is gonna to have to come up through here is it so let's have a look so this this is obviously going to take me a little bit of working out so I think that's going to come up there right so hold that there and this is going to go in there it's a bit of a faff on but we're getting there and this is going to go on there and then we're going to have to ram the whole lot in here somehow that's it and the job is a good one. Oh, that was easy wasn't it in the end it looks more difficult than it is I think maybe this is supposed to go through there and then of course you can attach this end to your battery in the battery box back here and you've got the controls right in front of you there so you've got two reverse speeds and you've got five forward speeds hey that looks great as I say I'm gonna have to uh, take the battery out of my camper van to have a little go on this but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that one thing left to do one thing I'm excited about, and I'm always excited about this, is real blazer stuff. Let's see what we've got in the bag. You're getting the proper real blazer stuff this time because this is uh, a premium kayak in the Galaxy range. So what have we got? Oh, great. So we've got real blazer rod holders times two. Two real blazer ports. and they're the track mount ports as well so you can you can pop these in the track mount so they've got the obviously i'll have to undo the screw to get it in properly but you've got your little uh bit in there where you can get it in twist it and then slide it along and also in here we've got two real blazer star mounts they come in all their little bits so you just have to put them together they're quite straightforward to do actually but there you go fantastic right only one thing left to do now is to have a little look over the whole thing I'm not going to attach all these on it obviously because I'm not going to take it out fishing today I'm going to have to set it up for the first fishing trip separately so what I'll do is well do you know what I'll talk you through it right now because it's going to be so easy I'll just get the camera and I'll make sure you're pointing in the right direction so yeah fitting the fish finder is going to be the easiest thing ever because the transducer compartment is underneath this hatch and it's in this scupper hole down here I've had a little look already and it's got the same two brass inserts in as my Sturgeon FX so it's just a straight swap for the transducer in there cables out here the battery will sit in this compartment as well and then the good news is when you pop this lid back on there's a little groove there you can get your cables out so no drilling required and of course I think I'll just either fit the fish finder to one of these two rails or maybe more than likely on the right hand side rail right well, all that's left to do now is have a proper look at it. I think I'll pop the pedal drive back in before we do that because I think that's the configuration most people are going to buy it in. So here it is. Let's have a little walk through. It's, uh, it's quite beautiful, isn't it, to be honest with you? It's a gorgeous looking thing. I'm fascinated to find out how this is going to work in comparison to the old flipper drive. I think the ratio is 10 to 1, so you get a lot of, a lot of propeller for your pedal. But uh, I like the seat, nice and comfortable. It looks a little high but i think the added stability of the extra width of the kayak obviously and also it's quite it's quite a deeper kayak compared to the sturgeon as well so i think that's going to make up for that extra seat height in terms of stability then of course i think this is genius the battery box there behind the seat if i was going to ask for one thing it would be one of those little grooves like we've got at the front in the front hatch so you could get your wires out for your battery but you know it's already waterproof inside as it were so a little waterproof grommet in the top there, that would be fine. It's not like it's gonna go straight into the hull, that's what I meant. 
and then uh, obviously we've got the rudder at the back there which is on a disc so that's going to give you a tighter turn and circle apparently so there we have it right so just in time for the rain to arrive what are my final thoughts on it well it's a sexy beast isn't it there's no denying that this is one good looking kayak i think particularly in this color the orange and the black they go really well together how's it going to perform as a fishing platform i don't know only time will tell but i'll tell you something i'm really looking forward to finding out i hope you found today's video useful especially the setup section if you have head on over to the channel because there's a load of more content over there if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything as i say but uh, it does make a big difference to that old youtube algorithm and if you want to give the video a thumbs up that really helps and if you've got any questions or anything you'd like to say pop that down in the comments below because i always reply i'll catch you next time